Good evening. I deeply appreciate the opportunity to introduce my dear friend and the cook. It probably will not come as a surprise to anybody in this room when I tell you that Anna has been a bright light in many of our personal and political darknesses. She knows how to celebrate feasts and how to console during famines. She's a great cook. She's a wonderful host, house hostess. She stayed faithful to Latvia, despite of all her commitment to Ohio and the beautiful city, green city on the Blue Lake here on the Erie Sea. She's always worked for a better world and has been only um, committed more than, than to her community, to her own family, and especially her devoted spouse. Anna is a born leader. Any group she joined, she sooner or later became president. And she's also a creative artist at heart. Her writing, her music, her photography have been a blessing to us all. So, this great daughter of Latvia and wonderful citizen of the world, she was given the key of the city of Cleveland and she's always that had the key to our hearts. Thank you, great daughter of Austria. Excuse my reading, but I just had to say something. Good evening, everybody. I'm truly honored to receive this honor. When I came to Cleveland, I didn't know a soul. And yet, after these many years, I have been enriched with many friendships and associ associations that have created the person who is me. <coughs> First of all, my husband, Bill, who continuously inspires and challenges me with his own many interests and accomplishments. Our children, grandchildren, and even great-grandchildren have, God knows, created a different name. My dear friend, Dad Marshall Est, who for some 50 past years has endured my stubbornness in our discussions and deliberations, the Latvian community embracing me and allowing me to participate in different capacities has strengthened my Latvian values. And then, of course, the former colleagues and members of organizations that have enhanced my love for Cleveland and America. So, who am I? When my family left Latvia in September of 1944, it was with the intention to return after the war. The furniture and the piano were covered, and the key was left at the outside door. But it was not to be. In 1973, almost 30 years after leaving, when the airplane wheels touched the Latvian soul, I couldn't stop the tears. I was even more emotionally brought seeing my father, who, who had come to the airport to greet me. And we had not seen each other for, since I had left Latvia. He had been sent to Siberia, and I had not seen him since leaving Latvia. On that trip, our two daughters, Lisa and Inta, and my mother accompanied me while Bill stayed home with our son, John, who was too young to travel. This trip was during Christmas holidays, 
the Soviet regime was in full force. We were not to go outside Riga, Latvia's capital, less with the prescribed Soviet travel groups. All the hotel rooms were bought, and the only place for decent shopping was the foreign currency stores that were off limits to the local people. Christmas Eve we spent with my father, but he had to cover windows for fear someone might report the forbidden celebration of Christmas. New Year's Eve was a special celebration at the Riga Hotel. I was with our daughters, and after so many years, with both my parents. How perfect could that be? But then, some American students who were staying at the hotel started singing all that time. Tears, tears, tears. Missing Bill and John and realizing the love I hold for America. I thank all of you for an opportunity to learn and to love. Thank you.